This is Star Wars The Clone Wars 2010, Captain Rex. The figure is part of the second wave of the Clone Wars figures to be released in 2012. Let's get right to it, folks. This figure is crap. Absolute piece of garbage. Okay, this, this figure just pissed the heck out of me. First off, um, packaging. It is a Galactic Battle Game card with the new... Episode 1 um, theme. As you can see, fantastic artwork. Wonderful. Uh, comes with a die, as well as a trading card and galactic battle game card. He also comes with a blaster that he can barely hold. Um, fires a missile. Useless, useless grip on his hands. And part of the reason is his hands are molded onto his forearms, which are made of soft, rubbery plastic. Comes with a base. No helmet. The head is completely removable. It is the Phase 2 armor or helmet that has been repainted. Um, uh, 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 a pauldron that has this particular piece, uh, reminiscent of an arc trooper, I'm not sure. Comes also with uh, blaster pistols, which hopefully he can hold. Yeah, like I said, blaster pistols, which uh, fit his hand. Yeah. Articulation, ball jointed neck, waist swivel, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, no wrist swivel, and frickin' hinge feet that do nothing. No knees, no ankles. I am so pissed at Hasbro now that I will, I swear to God, I will boycott the next figures with this kind of crappy articulation. I mean, Hasbro is already charging like $14 for this figure. Here in Manila, I mean, don't get me wrong. In other parts of the world, it's probably $11 or $10. But here in Manila, Star Wars figures are 14 damn dollars. For some reason, they've jacked up the price and they're giving us crappy articulation. You know, they're saying kids won't mind, kids won't notice. Only idiotic collectors like FX friends are going to make a hissy fit out of this. But hey, guess what? Kids are smart enough to know when they're being cheated of articulation from their figures. Their parents are paying a lot of money to get the figures. And the thing is, it's crap. And they've given him that uh, uh, very uh, battle-damaged, uh, very dirty armor, which really sucks. I hate that. Uh, the only good thing going for this guy is the the paint apps, the new repaint, repaints on him. He's got these, uh, I don't know if you can see it, these uh, stripes or these tick marks to indicate how many he's probably killed. He has them on his helmet. Pretty cool, but the, the helmet isn't, there's not, there isn't even a head uh, present in that helmet, which kind of sucks. And the legs are what really pissed me off. Uh, next are the arm, the hands that can't hold anything, and just, just, just piece of crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making a hissy fit out of this, but I just felt so cheated by Hasbro. I mean, I've I've put up with a lot of their bullshit with, with removing the ankles, removing the waist. Come on, the knees, absolute absolute rubbish stay away from this figure i was wondering why there was so many figures on on the shelf nobody was buying him shame on me for not doing enough research on the figure so here we go here's the old captain rex uh, this guy comes with a really nice head unfortunately the ball joint is way too big son of a bitch hasbro they really made it so that you cannot you cannot interchange these goddamn Yep, there's no way. There's no the fuck. There's really no way. The 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 only thing you can do is maybe give him his pauldron. But there's no way you can. Darn it! There's no way you can attach the new head. They've made it. They've made it so that that you will you'll completely be pissed off, uh, for buying the figure because there's no way you can. <sighs> there's really no way you can customize this 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 crappy figure. There's no there's. <sighs> You can't even recycle the parts. Son of a bitch, Hasbro. Good job. Although, you know, big, big shout out to those geniuses at the Hasbro. I don't care what your bosses say. You know, if your bosses tell you shit, don't you fucking do it. Just tell them you quit. Don't. I mean, you know, 
Brian Goldner, CEO of Hasbro, you know, ha- salute that guy for for cha- for for revitalizing Hasbro from a three million dollar company to a three billion dollar company overnight. You should, you know, have total respect for the guy, but he should goddamn fire the idiot who thought about removing articulation from Star Wars figures, movie figures. I can imagine. Fine. Uh, you know, I was willing to put up with your fucking Avenger figures, but this is this is this is too much. You can touch your movie figures, but don't don't fuck with the fucking Star Wars figures, okay? <sighs> Sorry, folks. I am just so frustrated with Hasbro right now. Their their toys are so fucking expensive, and they give a shit. Okay, stay away from this figure. Boycott all these fucking Clone Wars figures. Uh, in this particular wave, you get Obi-Wan, which is a great sculpt, but again, missing a few bits of articulation in the wrist and in the ankles. Um, it, they've got a repackaged Ayla Secura. If you've not picked up that figure, go ahead and pick it up at like 10%, 15% more expensive right now. Uh, and Commander Boss. Uh, if you like Boss, he's probably the only one worth picking up in this new, in this wave. Ayla, if you haven't picked her up, fine, go ahead. If you're a scalper, by all means, hoard all the Ayla Secura figures. You'll make a ton of money out of that. All right, so there you go. Uh, please feel free to like this video. With the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Add it to your favorites. If you hate this video, don't bother thumbs, dub, thumbs down, thumb downing it, clicking the thumbs down icon. Sorry, I can't even speak right, speak straight. Because I will beat the crap. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash fxfriends. There you go, folks. The crappy, crappy figure. Uh, 2012 Phase 2 Captain Rex from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Thanks for watching.